Welcome to the Lou News Network. We hope, we can help clear your brain for a few minutes, and then it will be time for reality to once again set in. So, here is our latest episode of The Odd, The Insane, and We Think the Truth. Do you prefer strawberry lemonade, or pink lemonade? This story may help you make up your mind. In the 1850s, Pete Conklin worked as a lemonade vendor for the Maybe Circus. He got terribly busy one day, and had to hustle up a batch. Finding a bucket of water in a nearby tent, he poured the first glass and he noticed it was pink. Not sure why he called it strawberry lemonade, but the pinkness came from a circus performer's soaking red underwear, in the very bucket Conklin took the water from. Pantaloon or pants that is the question. Pantaloons were worn by a comic character, and that get-up seemed strange looking for the day. That day being in the 16th century. The odd-looking, Pantaloons became known as pants when they reached America. We do like to change things up don't we? Moving forward in time we have some interesting facts on why the lowest bidder may not always be the best bidder. We've heard about the outrageous costs of toilet seats, the government paid for. But wait we the taxpayers paid for. Then we have Colonel James Ripley, who was chief of U.S. ordnance in the Civil War. The dipstick outfitted Union troops with 50-year-old, short-range smoothbore rifles that dated back to the War of 1812. He could have purchased more modern Enfield rifles that shot long range but for some reason he stated the rifle was hated. Not so by the Confederate Army who devastated the Union Army at the Battle of Bull Run. The rebels were hitting targets out at 800 yards and had a third fewer casualties, all because they had the long range rifles. And finally, as we wrap up this episode, there is an interesting quote. There are two types of people, those who come into a room and say, well, here I am and those, come in and say, ah, there you are. So ask yourself, what kind of person are you? But wait, I almost forgot. We found this word written on the loo wall. I don't know why people have to write on loo walls, but this word has a meaning. Ramification means what? A, problem. Or B, combination. Or C, consequence. Or D, reinforcement. So, if you see the word ramification anywhere, we hope you know the meaning. Have a great week and see you later. Until next time, we hope you all have successful times at the Lou, and we'd like to thank the internet, Uncle John's Bathroom Readers, and many other sources for helping us with our production. And remember, never ask a barber, if he thinks you need a haircut. (laughs) 